<laughs> yep. Hello, everybody. Today, things are going to get a little dicey. We are dismantling this Suburban. I'm going to take everything that's salvageable off of it and save it, sell it, keep it for later projects, whatever the case may be. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, and it's crack of dawn just about it. So I got to get this done because this is an outside project. But if you haven't seen this truck before, I'm going to take you for a walk around it. And just to show why I'm dismantling it, because I do, you know, this channel's about saving them. This one's a little bit beyond that. And it's going to get interesting, so stay with me, because the skid steer is going to be involved. Welcome back to True Road Rescue. If you have not seen this truck before, some of the parts are already off of it. There's no saving that engine. Had a hole in the hood, sat for so long, rusted right there. You know where that hole leads to? Right to the intake. Breather cover was on it, rusted through, had all kinds of acorns and everything, and all of that moisture went straight through. This block is seized up tighter than Dick's hat band. That's Dick Tracy, for those of you that don't know. I'm not being vulgar here. Anyway, um, the brake system's totally shot. Radiator's in good shape. Core sport's in good shape-ish. But the front end is in pretty good shape. This is going to get saved. Look at the A-pillar. Completely gone. Windshield has that uh, hazing in between the two panes. So that's no use. I've already robbed a bunch of parts off of it. Going over there for that one. Um, you see the bottom of the door here, completely, that's fiberglass, completely gone, and the same is true all the way back, and well, that's actually right there, let's teach my son how to use a, a torch, but the wheel well is completely gone, everything's shot in this thing unfortunately see how bad how deep it goes um fuel tanks in still okay shape tailgate well that's right there it's also gone but the lock and the uh window switch still good um all the way across the drip rail shot 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 c pillars shot down here, this is pretty good. I might cut that out. But, as you can see back here, there's been some work done. So, Bondo or fiberglass one. This door is completely shot. I'm going to save. I'm going to take this whole door off. Because I need the window, the regulator, all of that stuff. So, that's going to get salvaged. There's nothing left to this door. It's completely rotted out in the bottom. The interior is dry and cracking. And there's basically no dash. Because, well, that's over there in the other suburban. So, yeah. This fender's getting saved for sure. Because it is in fantastic shape. If you need that fender, let me know. The bumper's in okay shape. What are you doing? You gotta get out of here. Go on. And get but the grill's in good shape. Marker lights are in good shape. Bumper's in good shape. Transmission. I don't know about the transmission. As you can see, there is no running gear on this. As I bought it without the running gear. Somebody had already scrapped that out of it. So both the rear doors are coming off first. The rest of the front clip is coming off. And a few odds and ends. And then we're going to flip this sucker upside down using... That's good to do. Look, there's Madison. Okay. 
So, where to begin? I guess we begin with Fendor or the grill. I could take the whole front clip off. See, I'm formulating ideas and a plan as I go. I need to remove the hood. Might make things a little easier. Let's do that. Let's just get off the hood. I, the hood ain't really salvageable either. It's, it's unfortunate. It really is. Because I would love to salvage the, everything off of this truck. I'd love to revive it. But, well, there's just, there's just nothing left to revive. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Get a deep well, Rob. Come on, man. Figure, figure your stuff out. But, like I said, it's going to get dicey. It's going to get dicey. So, hang in there, bud. Oh, and I'm going to, I ain't going to scrap out this hood yet. I'm going to take the hood ornament and stuff off of it. Your job is done. Now, this is a massive hood. There we go. Easy, easy. Yep. There we go. First piece is off. Off to a good start. And down you go. Oh, I gotta get these off of here. Because those, I would like to put these, the chrome ones, on the, uh, on the Suburban over there. Because it's got the or chrome stainless. And I'm also going to salvage this panel here. What do I need? I need lots of things. So let me take a few of these parts. Now, you know what? I'm just going to keep on recording. Because I always shut it off. And usually something really funny happens. Or I do something really dumb. And I miss it. Because I have the camera off. So I'm just going to. Keep on keeping on. You want to get a little closer? Okay. I'm, I'm hearing you. Let's get you closer. It's already getting bright out here. Hey, hey. Behind the garage? Not behind the garage. Cool. Off we go. <laughs> the question is, is the core support? I don't know how good the core support really, truly is. I really don't. I got a battery here. That's a core. I mean, it's got a good. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep that. No. To answer our question, the core support is completely rotted on the bottom. But it looks like we got a good radiator. Looks like we got a good radiator. Question is, can I use the trans line? Because that trans line on my Suburban really been giving me fits. I think it's on the opposite side, though, because it's a four-wheel drive transmission. Could be wrong. Don't know. But I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm going to find out. Because I just think that's going to be the fun way to do it. Uh, yeah, 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 under here. I'm really surprised that these bolts are just coming out. Keep on keeping on. That's half inch, Rob. So is that. Is it, yeah. Is this fender good? No, it's right at the bottom. So comment below what kind of stuff do you guys want to see? I mean, what do you want to see? Tell me. Talk to me. I want to hear from you. Mosquitoes. 
I really do. Like, I enjoy communicating with you guys. We're starting to formulate a pretty cool little little group. It's kind of nice. I've heard from a bunch of you guys. And, uh... First one that's rounded. Not rounded, but the nut starts bad. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of hardware over here. I really need to be cleaning this up as I go. That's the intelligent thing to do. Thank you. We are making progress. Ah! I broke it. Yeah. Come on. Just don't worry. Seals are blown out and the lens is cracked. But the bezel's good, so we're keeping it. Trying to get the chrome off. Stainless. Helps if you go the right direction. Easy. Yep. Okay. Are you free? Are you completely free is the question. Are you being held up in the center by something? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to be honest with you. This is take two because I already flipped this sucker over once. But my camera stopped recording, so I had to flip it back over. You probably saw the short. Um, Because I know that's what you came here to see. Let's do it again, shall we? This time... I'm recording. Uh, in we go. Now remember, there's nothing left on here that's salvageable. Man, that's a heavy girl. Now, the game plan is remove the engine and transmission from the bottom because the transmission is salvageable, the motor is not. I may cut all the body bolts off and salvage the frame because the frame is good and solid. The tank is good and solid. And the front bumper is good and solid. Outside of this, this is scrap material. My grap will kind of hang on a little bit. Did you see that? I was in a rocking chair, but it's fine. I'm okay, it's okay. Now, continuing the dismantling. Now, the goal here is to try to remove this without completely obliterating the transmission. I care less about this motor. 6.2 diesel, and it's locked up, like I said. <laughs> Easy bolts first. Maybe it'll just break off. Then that'd be nice. It's not going to though. I didn't spray this one. <laughs> or, ah, it's too much weight down on it. Maybe I should have undone all this before I flipped it over, but I really wanted to flip it over. It was fun. It was really fun. Let me go get another wrench. Another wrench. There it is. Another motor wrench. Yeah. Okay. K. 
Can I get there from here? It's possible. Man, it's weird. There's transmission fluid everywhere. Let me just get out, down and out of my way. Now, am I going to be able to manhandle this? from both ends of the spectrum here. Ow. Why yes. Yes I am. Oh, I came off at the bottom. Oh, there's a distribution box. It's conveniently located where it's really difficult to get to. Should have lubricated these bolts. Anyway, I know you're not wanting to sit here and watch me dismantle this. You're wanting to see me take it out with skid steer. So, let me just skip right to that, shall we? There you go. Now, judging from my precise calculations. This should not work at all, but let's try it. It's a hard hat area. Everybody stand back. We got the bockery going on. I said this isn't going to work but what if I did something different what if I brought more of the transmission out first it's never gonna fit Robert you know it's not gonna fit but on a lighter note I can get to all the bell housing bolts why don't we just do that Cause I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to fit. Now, uh, cause I'm up into the firewall there. I mean, it was worth a shot. Like I said, judging by my calculations, this isn't going to work. So let me just undo the bell housing bolts. Give me a minute. I just thought it'd be fun to try. I've never tried it. Now we know it ain't going to fit. The more you know. Saying is fight, tooth, and nail. It's locked up on the dowel pins. Come on, hurry up. Doggone dowel pin. That side's free. Besides not. Let me wiggle it some more. There we go. Let me readjust my chain. Because my cross member just it ain't gonna do cross member things anymore. Not until a new bushing is installed. The bolt's not stripped, it's just Gotta be gentle. Because we don't want to destroy this thing. But I also don't feel like putting forth the effort of doing this the correct way. You know what I mean? It's a it's a balance between chaos and 
doing things properly. Okay. You'll go around and down. Uh, did I forget to do something? No, I'm just caught up on a stud and not myself. Ah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop. But you know, the chain ain't long enough. Not to go this way anyway. But I'll go in the other way. And I can also drop the bucket down. Oh, this is dangerous. Don't do this at home, kids. Let me see. Oh, the AC's on in here. I'll just hang out out here. Just right here. This is the rest of the video here. No, I'm kidding. Play off my hand so I don't get the joysticks dirty. Here we go. Round five. useless for me. But, let me cut them off. Right there and there, that ought to do. Oh no! Come here, you. Maybe I can untangle them because they're already already on hook. Why don't I just do that instead of butchering them? Oh, this one's rusted through anyway, so that one's not useful for anybody. And the end of this one's off. That one's rusted through too. So, regardless, they're garbage, man. I don't know if you can see it or not. Can you even see me? Here. So, the fluid coming out of here is really super clean, so that's promising. The lines, they're bad, they're rusted through. But it's a four wheel drive, uh, what is this, 4L? No. Turbo 400? I'll know once I can see the casting numbers. Let me go put this down somewhere. Well, we accomplished a lot today, a little bit of destruction, but it's okay. And I kind of have a couple of ideas. Should I put dirt around this, put, take it out there to the dirt bike track and make it a jump? I mean, that's a pretty cool little tabletop right there. Or do I just send it to the scrapyard after I get a couple more things off of it? Um, it does suck that this wasn't savable, but I mean... Looking at the bottom side of it, there was nothing left of it. So, it is what it is, but we got the transmission out of it. I'll be able to put that back on the road in something. Figure something out for it. It's four-wheel drive transmission. And it's electronic. So, somewhat electronic. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. A little bit of a dest destruction. I mean, that doesn't happen here often at all. And, yes, I'm in a different change of clothes because I had to go clean up because it's 160 degrees today. <sighs> Truthfully, it's like 105 with a humidity of 80 something, 90 something, and it's starting to rain. It's miserable is what I'm saying. I should have been doing this in swim trunks so I could just go hop in my pool over there. <sighs> it's miserable. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. 
thanks for watching guys and uh let me know comment below what you want me to do with this do you want me to make a jump i can make a video of making a jump out there and having my son jade jump it or myself that'd be fun probably clear it comment below what you want me to do with it and until next time we'll see you later